That's the shot, guys. Back to the airport. Goodbye, London. Early. That's when no one's awake. It's like 7 a.m. So you might be wondering what I thought of London. Well, some of it's very nice. Uh, it's convenient that everyone speaks English. Possibly, also, I actually realized I kind of like living in countries where not everyone speaks English because you, you don't have to talk to everyone all the time. Or make small talk. There's not people eavesdropping all the time where you don't accidentally eavesdrop all the time. Kind of just nice, you know, being kind of your own bubble and only communicating when you actually need to. So like here, like in the US, it's kind of like everybody has an opinion. So you end up getting into like random arguments, political debates, or you know, just random crap with people that really shouldn't be wasting your time talking to. And this happened more than once while I was here and it happens in the US a lot. As you know, I'm quite an opinionated person, so if something's not working correctly. I'll say something. As for food and drinks and things like that, I would say London's super expensive, super pricey. And uh, yeah, London is super expensive, super pricey. And I don't feel like it's a good value. That's the problem. Like, I don't mind paying more if I'm getting a really good experience or like top quality food, top quality experience, I can't get somewhere else. But in London, you never really feel that way. Like you feel like you paid a lot of money for just something that shouldn't be that much. Groceries are okay, but in general, it's overpriced. Here back I am at the Metro again. does it cost to get to Gatwick Airport now? Uh, buying a ticket or you're using contactless? Contactless. Uh, go uh, on the southern train, uh, £16.50. Okay, is that the cheapest option? That's the cheapest option. Okay, uh, which um, track would that be? Uh, you're not going to make the next one. So next one could be at 744. Okay. I okay. don't know what platform until it's ready. You're looking for the Little Hampton train. The, what was it called? Little Hampton. Little Hampton. And then how much would the Gatwick Express be? Twenty one pound. Oh wow, okay, I'll wait. Thank you. And why wait? Because next Gatwick Express doesn't leave until seven fifty nine. Anyways, okay, perfect. Thank you. Little Hampton train. Well, I'm glad I asked this gentleman because I just saved myself five pound, which now is about six dollars. That used to be like eight dollars. So I wish I would have asked earlier. Uh that's when I was five for two people. Now, as you can see, there's more we. It's just Johnny. My uh, cameraman is gone. They're safe, don't worry. But yeah, now it's just me. So I wish I was able to save 10 pounds something on the last trip. But I didn't know that each train has a different price. And there's no way to know because you pay with contactless. Uh, or these ancient machines that also don't tell you. So you literally have to just know somehow. Uh, do your research, as everybody in the comments can tell me. Or you bother this guy. There should be an easier way. But there, there really isn't. Might as well get myself a mediocre espresso while waiting. Worst coffee brand I've ever had. Worse than Starbucks, I would say. So at least Starbucks has working Wi-Fi, you know. So it looks like I need platform 17 towards Little Hampton. So you may have missed it in my other video, but don't ever take the Gatwick Express. Everybody in the comments screamed at me saying, why are you taking the Gatwick Express? It's not much faster and it's way more expensive. How would I know that? You would think that in an airport, 
train would be designed to be the most efficient, cost-effective way to welcome tourists and business travelers into your country. But no, it's to uh, get that little extra five quid from them. Also, there's, there's for some reason no trash cans anywhere in London, so I don't know where to put this. Platform All right, Little Hampton. 44 Southern service to Little Hampton via home. Calling at Clapham Junction, East Croydon, Gatwick Airport, Hayward Street, Burgess Hill. Now, I'm on the train now. Uh, there's no cell phone exception, just like in the metro, but they do have Wi Fi. But you have to accept the terms of agreements and you get a 100 megabyte limit. 100 megabytes. That's enough to send a few photos, <laughs> maybe read an article, but that's it. You definitely can't watch like, a YouTube video or anything like that. So if you're on your way to the airport, don't count on watching this. So the time is about 8.20, so it took me a little bit more than an hour to get to the airport from my friend's house. It's exhausting, I've never get this early. <laughs> so this is Wiz Air. I wanted to change my seat because you can't do it online anymore for some stupid reason. There's a million people in the And all these people don't have to pay just to be able to check in. It's crazy. Most airlines let you check in online even like once you get to the terminal. So those are the people who didn't do it last night probably woke up at 7 a.m. the rush to get here and they realized all my check-in has already closed. So now if we're in that crazy line, they probably have to pay like 25 pounds or something. Let's check in, it's insane. And then these I've checked in. Oh my god. Oh the people. It seems like it's moving. Alright, so I made it through security fine. Uh, lots of people, but pretty efficient. Except they pulled me over because my laptop was in a case, like a very thin fabric case with nothing else in there. And no other airport has ever cared. Because I know you're not supposed to keep it in your bag with everything else because they kind of get mixed it up. But I always put it separate and it's never been an issue except for at Gatwick. So we're so flying out of London. Bikes in general, I'm just going to take it completely out. For no why. Just kiss. Good news is I'm still two hours early, but I actually have to go through immigration because we're not part of Brexit anymore. Because Brexit happened. So I gotta go through the Schengen. We need to about them first. The only thing I like about walking through duty free means you're almost there. You're almost at your gate. Well, these actual deals are pretty good. So, a uh, not so fun fact about the UK is one of the reasons why alcohol is so expensive at the bar is you always have to order a double if you're used to having a non-weak watery drink because in the UK, it turns out a single shot is 25 milliliters. In the US, it's like almost double, what, 40 to 44. And because we free pour in the US, sometimes you're getting closer to 50. So you're literally getting a double for the price of a single. Last night we went to dinner and I tried to order a single because it was five pound fifty plus the tonic, and I was like, "Oh, that's not bad. Seven pound, like eight dollars for a drink. That's normal." The woman I was with from Singapore was like, "I insist you get a double," and I was like, "I was like, no, no, I don't want to get too drunk." She's like, "Yeah, trust me." <laughs> like, and she explained the whole thing, and I was like, "Wow, the UK is such a ripoff because that five fifty pound drink 
now became 11 quid plus the mixer, 14 quid for a single well drink. This is how the UK gets you guys, it's tricky. Are you, can we sample rum? Yeah. Can we sample rum? Of course, of course. Are you recording? At 8 in the morning. Uh, what would you like to have? I don't think I can drink at 8 in the morning, mate. But no, thank you, you can, you can, trust me. Oh, I man, I don't want to drink at 8 in the morning. Yeah, so thank you, appreciate you it. You can, you've got potential. I appreciate it. Can you believe this guy's really passing out samples of rum at 8 in the morning? I wonder if people are actually taking it. I mean, I guess they must if, if he's here. I never look at magazines, but I want to look at the cover of the new Times magazine with the Ukrainian general on there, but maybe that's the US only. They have the Long Time magazine here in the UK. Well, they do have a new or best. Oh, okay, this must be good. Oh, it turns out they are sold out. So that's maybe a good thing, right? Maybe people care, but who knows? All right. So it looks like I get my board info at 9.45, so an hour. It's nice though that they show you how long it takes to get to your gate and actually what restaurants are theirs. So that one has a coast of coffee and a to be each other's with. I guess only to the restaurants, just what coffee shops are there. All right, at least there's drinking water, guys, and it's not in the toilet. This is a, a pretty good one, actually. Good job, Gatwick. All right. So I have about an hour and a half. So I'm gonna try to use one of these lounges. Let's see uh, how it is. How's Club Aspire? That's, that's not good. Maybe there's another lounge. All right, let's check out Club Rooms. Morning Lounge and Club Rooms. Let's check it out, guys. All right, here we go, guys. Nicely, brightly lit. Some hot foods here, breakfast bar. It's busy, but good. Have myself a little espresso. Might be liquid. Bring some beans. All right, looks like we have a full English with powdered eggs. Hope they're right. This uh, honeycomb is a nice little touch though, guys. I'll have a little fresh honey in my tea. How cool is that? Here we go, guys. Nice little full English and a view. Nice big well lit red lounge. It seems alright. It seems very busy, but I'm happy it works. I like well lit lounges. Hot food, not good coffee. It's like some instant uh, liquid coffee, not beans, but it'll do, guys. Guys, I probably spent a little bit too much time at the lounge doing some work, having a, a second breakfast. But now the gate's open, gate 14 in the morning. I think we might have to go through passport control, so hopefully uh, it's not gonna be a long line because it's 10.15 and my flight leaves at 10.30. Okay, departure's at 10.50, but the boarding's supposed to close at 10. 35, let's see. All right. I can see gate 14, not too far from there. All right, I see a bit of a queue in front of me, so I'm not too worried. But it's always hard to tell because you don't want to come too early because there's no cafes, there's nothing to do, just a bunch of people sitting around. Uh, or it can be the nice comfortable lounge, relaxing, but you don't know if you're gonna somehow magically miss your flight. <laughs> So it's always kind of a balancing act. Looks like my timing was perfect on this one because people are just boarding here. But you know what's strange is we didn't stamp out of the UK. I wonder if you don't have to. Isn't that weird? We're going into the Schengen zone, but we didn't stamp out of the UK. We're just gonna go on the flight. Maybe leftover Brexit. Alright, well, that was it. That was easy. They checked the passports and the ticket, but now we are here to wait. I asked if I can change from a uh, middle seat. I don't know if there's any Wizz Air staff anywhere. I don't see any. 
All right, starting to board, guys. Where's air? We are actually fully ready to go with our time assigned by air traffic controllers. It's a restricted time for departure. We uh, will have traffic uh, over. Check out Abdullah Spotify. easy guys that was fast so maybe i might make this train even though it was air it was 25 minutes late I might still make it point of no return welcome to the austria yeah super good this is where you pick up your global park kinder wagons for those who are unaware it means your baby strollers or your big luggage and here's Das Ausgang, it's for Wein, which is Vienna. So, one really strange thing is they asked everyone around me why they were coming to Vienna or how long they're staying for, purpose of the trip. Like literally everybody. They're like, two people in front of me, two people left, and with me, they looked at my passport, they're like, all right, stupid American, stamp, nothing. Just like, go. seeing these people even though there's no balloons or anything today. Welcome to Austria Johnny. Thank <laughs> you. I just met a very nice uh, guy the information that gave me the directions to the train and he watches the video so uh hello hope you uh, like my video so here's all the Train tickets, which parkers, mine is one DF. But I guess I'm half an hour early. So I might just hang out real quick. It looks like it's just right there. So how much would it cost normally? Is it English? So much is? is that cheaper? Yeah. yeah. How much are these by the way? Like how much was that one? Well, that was twelve and it's cool. Wow, why is it such a difference? It's just a fast train. Oh screw that. Huh? No yeah, yeah, uh, that's better. Thank you, man. Oh, big difference. I wonder how much faster this one is. 16 minutes. No, it's four minutes or five minutes faster only. For 10, 11 yeah. euros difference. Wow. Yeah, because this is only has no stop. Uh huh. And these are the normal local trains which have a couple of stops. That's okay. Thank you. All right, guys. Just like in London, we've learned the local train is always the better train. Why save four or five minutes, or ten minutes, whatever it would have been said? You'd rather save four or five euros for no reason. So Spritzka is also with gas. It's thirty-five cents. Oh, that's a good deal, guys. Bottle of water and a complimentary fork. Just of holes. Glasses. Like it's free. You know, Johnny loves free. Except eat my leftover Chinese food before it spoils. Back to the train station. By the way, good old Johnny learned his lessons from the disastrous trip from Paris to London and London to the center. 
I did some research this time, guys. It turns out there's this new website called google.com. H-T-T-P-S dot dot colon colon www.google dot com where you can find out informations about things. So just showing up and blundering through and wasting money like I have. You're welcome. Bitte schön. But since I have time, I'm gonna check how much it would have cost if I just bought it at the station. Because I did have to kind of guess what time it would arrive and hope it wouldn't be late. Oh my God, it would have been $47. No way. What about this one? That's insane, guys. Oof. Disaster averted, guys. I'm actually going a few hours outside of Vienna to a town called Linz, where my friend is going to come pick me up. And if I had bought the ticket the day of on the station, they wanted an insane 47 euros, guys. That's double what London wanted, but it is a lot further. But still, I would have been pissed, so I'm glad I got the half the price by booking a few days early. So guys, I was a little bit worried that I had gone on the wrong train. Uh, it, there was a lot going on places, and my ticket actually makes me transfer in Vienna. That's why it was so cheap. And I was a little bit scared, thinking, oh my god, what if I just miss a train? What's going on? I was going to ask for help. Then I opened the link in my email, and due to uh, Austrian efficiency, it's so good. It told me exactly, they said, in seven minutes, you want to be on platform one between, um, no, track one between platforms D and F, and then you'll arrive on track seven in Vienna. You want to walk to track eight, uh, and then you'll be in Linz, the rival town, at exactly, you know, five, you know, whatever, 30 p.m. And I was like, how cool is that? It's live. And it actually even updated the, the platform with the tracks, because sometimes they'll change. This is what I like about this, I don't want to say German efficiency, Austrian efficiency, because we are in Austria, guys. But we do have to plan ahead. So I bought my ticket four days ago, and thank God I did. I wonder if this one's it. Oh, it says right on the side. And this is it, guys. How cool is that? This is the restaurant cart, DEF. Automatic, very good. Beautiful train, guys. This is Welcome, it's the track RJX168 to Zurich. All right, so I just have a 15 minute ride over to Vienna, the capital. Get off, hop over one platform, and I'm on my way to Linz. I don't know, I'm surprised, but it left exactly on time at 3.03. How amazing is this? Welcome to Vine, to Vienna. So now I'm gonna get off and go to platform eight, AC. Guys, welcome to Vienna. I'm just here for 20 minutes before I go to Linz, a little village. Let's go check it out. We need to find Strudelplatz of 8. Which I don't think exists. Maybe that was 8. Is that 7? 8? Oh, I was there. How easy was that? It was literally there already. But I have 20 minutes, so I'm going to go look around. Look, we are basically it's kind of mall. That's what they have. See you guys later. Yeah. So it looks like I'm literally in a shopping mall. So if you had time to kill, there is a food court. Everything you need, guys. Alright. Ooh. Look at that. That's Vienna guys. 
Welcome to Vienna, to Vine. Here, man, guys, going to Linz Hofbef. The only kind of strange thing is, there's not that many places to sit for a big train platform. But I think it's so efficient and it comes and goes so on time that most people just spend their time down at the shops and just come up a few minutes before. This is how trains should be run, guys. Here's our train. 10 minutes early, but we're gonna hop on. Let's hang out. Set up the chair, not the new people. And there's power outlets, but they're up here for some weird reason. Leaving exactly on time. Alright, All right, so we are one station away. A group of hikers are getting off, and I'm sitting here. Comfortable table editing. This has been a great train ride so far. Quite happy with it. Alright, guys, we are almost in the middle. This is where I'm getting picked up. My light and we don't know how Perfectly finished editing a video as well. Great time. I love working on trains. Definitely no. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, can I help you? Yeah, oh, thanks. Yeah, of course. You see, Johnny is a good I'm man. Happy. He's a good man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those are not <laughs> They have a very bad guy. America. From California? Uh, I live Welcome. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you claim you do this all the time. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, I guess it would be on the platform. Of course, I think it would be on the platform. I was thinking so many things, like it would be easy to recognize Johnny, it will be just like something there. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't I didn't recognize you. Huh? Ah, yeah, because now I have different stuff with the winter clothes. Yeah. I haven't been in the winter for four years. Wow. A different clothes, yeah, different clothes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Long hair. Yeah, hair. yeah. Guys, uh, you hang out with Ingen, you're either gonna be 10 years younger, uh, or you're gonna die 10 years sooner. Maybe we will. Yeni bir vlog ve karşımda kim var? Johnny, Johnny, action man, action man, yeah. This. Grab it. I hit it on a pool wall when I was swimming. Oh no. Yeah, in the morning. Feels like five years. Definitely. Look who it is! And good! <laughs> In Austria. <laughs> yeah. So we haven't seen each other in a year. Yeah. Since exactly before the war. Yeah, yeah. It was 25th of or September. We had a Chinese food one last time. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember. After, yeah, your, after it, your wedding? Yeah, after, yeah. And now you're living here in Austria. Austria. Wow. How crazy is that? Things change so quick, right? Yeah, life changes quick. <laughs> And 
I'm a father. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're gonna see. What are we gonna see? <laughs> okay. Wow. Welcome to Linz. Beautiful. Let us find the rain in there. Yeah? Remember how you helped them? Yeah. yeah. Journey is a Who's there? <laughs> oh. Alright. <laughs> oh! Was he watching the car or why was he waiting outside? Uh, in case if the parking would make a problem sometimes here. Oh, really? Okay. okay. Uh, big yeah. moment. Johnny has helped our family in Budapest take them, put them back into the Austria oh. after the war. <laughs> Slava Ukraini! <laughs> Uh, yes, let's go. Oh, okay. This is a cool car. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Who's car is it? Um, our uh, neighbor. Oh, nice. I mean, I mean like, they are, they are renting from them. Oh, the house. Mm -hmm. Not the car, but the house. The house yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. He knows German now. Really? Like, maybe 10%, I would okay. say. Okay, not bad. They've been going to courses for almost four or five months now. Когда война закончится, скажи. Война когда закончится? The Duna River. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful country. This city more like it reminds us a bit of Harkin. We like his things. Yeah. A smaller, yeah, smaller city. Smaller. Yeah. What is this place? Is it a castle? Uh, I think so. There's a bunch of castles by the way. Wow. Everywhere nice. there's castles here. Oh my gosh. Our, uh, like their home uh -huh. looks like a castle. Not wow. Like a castle, but it's just big farmhouse. Yeah. And they are 150 years old. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. I'm gonna have to make a video called Life in the Austrian Village. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I just need to find a goat. When you be with them and grow up them and... Uh, yeah. I'm excited as well. After you know, so many times living in summer. It looks like we're driving into a, in a like there is a deer, black deer, forest. Deer. Oh, what is it? Wow! It? No. There's a lot of deer here. Wow! Wow! Alien, alien. Oh, wow. Driving. Guys, welcome to uh, Austria. Yeah. It's the village side of Austria, of Austria. Yeah. You know what? I, I've never even really been to the south of the US, like the, kind of the countryside. Uh -huh. But this is what I imagine it looks like. Just corn. Exactly. And a John Deere <laughs> tractor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I could, howdy, y'all. Could be in the US. Everywhere is a farm, like machines, like tractors. Yeah. Just like the... Okay. So, Johnny, yeah. welcome to our village. <laughs> it's like a town. Yeah. <laughs> it's a small town. Yeah. Small, small. Small, small as town. As a pub? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> as a pub, uh, some other areas, and strip club for you as well. No, there isn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look at this one over here. Okay. Mm, and this is our house. Oh, the nice. red one here. Uh, no, not red, like this color. Yeah, yeah. This one. This is what you will see every day when you wake up, this area. What's downstairs? Is it business? Yeah, it's a hairdresser. Oh, yeah. Our friend. Mm -hmm. He is going to put the car and come back, most yeah. probably. Yeah. Uh, we'll mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why can't you park there for a minute? Huh? He wants to park inside. Yeah, he needs to park inside. This is a uh, our storage room. We have this is for Noah, actually. Yeah. Yeah. One. Hello, <laughs> baby, baby. Yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> you came. Welcome. <laughs> it's for you. <laughs> Welcome. <in. laughs> Yes. Yeah, he came, man. <laughs> okay, maybe he wants to see it. Super. 
It's That's just one year of this, right? Exactly one year? Exactly one year. Wow. Exactly yeah, one year. That's so long. Yeah, we flied on 28th of September. Yeah. And now 28th, around okay. one year. 27, we supply 20. Oh. You're so skinny. Uh, you think so? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, you just you gave a bird, bird, you know? <laughs> My belly was huge, I don't know. 899. 100! Some alien is That's good, not bad. Oh my god, you're rocking it, babe. I think you're ready for triple. Wow. Everyone was thinking. I have that, yeah, people yeah, yeah, were yeah, thinking. You wanna see Noah? Yeah. Just, uh, actually, he doesn't sleep, but he's okay. We're gonna be silent. Breathe. Oh, it's so small. Breathe. Look at it. Oh my god, it's so small. Why is it so small? Come. Noah, breathe. Yeah, Johnny. Oh my god. Noah, Uncle Johnny. Uncle Johnny. Mami Kaya. Mami Kaya. You're so tiny. <laughs> All right. So I'm sitting here? Yes. Um, <laughs> actually, ah, you're sitting here. actually, when we were buying you a mattress, uh -huh. uh, Lena's father made a very funny joke. We right. find a very small mattress oh and it's like, hey, it's for Johnny. <laughs> okay, so here's the house and living room. Come. Uh -huh. Oh, it's big. Yep. It's much big. Uh -huh. So this table we can work yeah. uh, in the day. Mm -hmm. We can put two, two, and there's a yeah. sofa, a uh, very comfortable couch. Oh. I need to learn how to read. And we have the terrace. I was telling you. Yeah, yeah, I like it. This so, nice. did you fly today to Vienna, right? I flew to Vienna and then took a train here uh -huh. to Linz and they picked me up. So you didn't stay in Vienna, right? No, you no, just no. Uh, maybe I'll maybe see really your back. special room. Show me. Let's go. <laughs> Where? Yeah, that one on the right. On the right? Yeah. Why does somebody do it? <laughs> you can open the light. Oh, voila! <laughs> this will do. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I have a nice view as well. Quiet. Yeah. Here. I have a nice desk. And we know we drink a lot of water. We got your water as well. Is that vodka? <laughs> <laughs> Here is your towel, and you can put your stuff in this beautiful wow. wardrobe. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Welcome, man. Welcome. <laughs> no, it's sweet. Like, I thought it was something other. Actually, we drink here from the tap, yeah. which has never happened to us before when we travel. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Good. Okay. Maybe taste the bed as well. <laughs> Good. Good thing I don't have a company. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's good that he came single yeah. and he cannot find anybody here. <laughs> no, Actually, why not? Like, there are many people in Spore you can meet. <laughs> oh, yeah. In this village, I'm sure there'll be. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, now we don't need it now. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm very comfortable here in Engen and Lena's home here in Austria. Uh, and I'm very happy to have seen their parents again and meet their new baby. We don't want to forget that there's plenty of people in Ukraine who still need help because this war has been going on for seven insane months now. And I've been doing what I could, uh, what I can, with the help of all of you who have donated to GoFundMe to help people who are in need. Uh, this is a family that we've helped pay the next three months rent for to get them hopefully at least through the winter, but obviously they can still need uh, more support, more help. So if you can, please help them either directly uh, or donate through the GoFundMe so I can help more families like them as well. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Перший крок ми оплатили оренду на три місяці. Це дуже добре. І далі я думаю, що ми можемо допомогти з одягом, з їдою, гігієною та грошима. Вони зараз потребують нашої уваги і нашої допомоги. Все, всіх люблю, це буде Україна. Ми вільні.